most common complaints I hear about people starting kettlebell training is the kettlebell smashing into their forearm and causing them discomfort or giving them bruises. So here are three key tips for you to take away in order to prevent you from hitting your forearm with the kettlebell. First of all, you wanna make sure that you're using the appropriate grip. So when you're doing the kettlebell clean, which is the, the most common one where you're hitting your forearm, you're going to be transitioning from hook grip, which is uh, the weight or the bell handle in your first knuckle and your fingers and your thumb locked over. You're gonna be transitioning into an inserted position when you're in the rack. So here, the bell handle is diagonal across your palm, fingers are loose. So transitioning between those two is the first thing you wanna make sure you're doing, that you're moving from the hook to the fully inserted position. The second key element is that you wanna be sure that you're inserting your hand at the correct time. Usually, when people are hitting their forearm with a kettlebell, it's because they're gripping the kettlebell too tight, so not using their hook grip, and as they're coming around, they're letting the kettlebell come all the way around and then hitting the form. Not only does this put your wrist in a bad position, but it's really not gonna be a comfortable and easy position for you to hold the kettlebell. In order to eliminate that, what you wanna do is think about using your legs to push the bell and give it momentum, and then you will have time to open your hand and drive it into the bell handle. So as I mentioned before, we should end up in this nice deep inserted position where there's no space between your forearm and the kettlebell handle here. So in order to do that, you're going to swing the bell back, use your legs, and insert quickly. Open, slide the hand through. So notice that my hand is gonna drive through that bell handle and meet it in the rack. Therefore, we're cutting that arc the bell makes around your forearm and making it a lot smaller. The last element that's gonna help you prevent hitting your forearm with the kettlebell is ensuring that the arc of the kettlebell as it moves around your body is small. The closer the bell is to you, the better you'll be able to control it. If the kettlebell's really far out from the body, it's gonna be much harder to control and likely that the kettlebell will end up hitting your forearm. So instead of letting the kettlebell swing way out, which is gonna cause a lot of discomfort, we're gonna think about keeping the arc of the kettlebell tight as we go through that clean movement. And now, I've been using a sport style or pendulum style clean here, but this is gonna apply whether you're doing a hard style clean, um, more of a hinge based clean, or you're doing the pendulum style. So whether you're here and more of a hinge clean, same principles as if you're doing the pendulum clean.